Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to do a video that was requested by one of my viewers. Um, I recently did some videos talking about the decks I plan to use in the winter and um, one of those decks was the John Bauer Tarot and I have um, actually modified my John Bauer Tarot in that I have restructured it. So the titles that were given to certain images, I sort of swapped those around. Um, so they requested a video on a flip through and also my thoughts and sort of the ideas behind why I made some of the changes that I did. Um, I believe I do have a flip through of the deck up on my channel. It was one of the first videos I made, so it's probably just to music or something like that. So I thought it would be a good idea to come on and sort of give my reasonings for some things. So that way, if you are thinking about um, restructuring a tarot deck, sort of what goes into that. So for me, I um, got this deck because I loved the artwork. I think I originally saw the deck on um, Boho Tarot's channel. And she also took the borders off and made it more into an oracle. Um, I loved that idea. Um, so I just got the deck and thought I would work with it as tarot just because I love the art. Um, but the more readings I did with it, the more I would pull cards and I would say like, okay, this is the you know two of swords, but I'm not really getting that in the reading. So I went through and looked at all the cards um, and I realized that about a third of them didn't really resonate with me. So I decided to take off the borders as well and then I, <clears throat> excuse me, I just sort of sat with the images and said, okay, what sort of energy does this card give me? And it took a couple days and I even moved some things around. So I used um, sticky notes. So when I had the cards, um, before I trimmed off the borders, I made little sticky notes. And <clears throat> if, like, let's say this one still had its borders on and it was the Nine of Swords, then I would say, okay, like, I, I wouldn't put a sticky note on it. But if I, let's say... Like for this one, I don't remember what this one was, but let's just say it was, I don't know the, <laughs> let's see, that's not a good one. Let's see. Uh, see, some of them I don't really remember. I think this was like the 10 of cups or something. So, but I was like, well, that really is more four of wands for me. So I would write a sticky note, four of wands. And I would do that for all the cards and I would go through and then I would do some readings with the old titles and the sticky notes and to see, just to make sure everything sort of made sense. And when I was finally happy with my decision, I cut off the borders and then I would write in Sharpie my new title for that card. So I wanted to just kind of go through and in no particular order, um, just kind of talk about my choices. So, first we have the High Priestess. Um, and again, if I do remember what the original <clears throat> title was, then I'll be sure to mention it, but I tried not to think about the old title because that sort of messes with my readings. Um, but with the High Priestess here, I really liked, like these trees reminded me of the pillars and the water and that intuition. Um, this could even be seen as the veil or even her hair as the veil. I just really liked the imagery and it just kind of spoke to the high priestess for me. Chariot. Um, so I do know that this was the Ace of Pentacles and what was the Ace of Pentacles is now... No. <laughs> this was the Ace of Pentacles, now the Chariot. And what was the Chariot is now the Ace of Pentacles. The reason why is I thought this image had more movement to it. So that's why I went with the chariot for this one. Queen of Cups. Um, I just really loved all the water 
energy behind here and it's sort of like you know we don't know if this loved one is really there or not or if it's like a lost loved one so I love the idea that she has been through heartbreak and has gone through that and has grown from that and it is who she is today because of that heartbreak king of coins um i love some of the cards because there's multiple figures in them and i think depending on the reading like this could be the king of coins or this could be the king of coins depends on the reading um i just love this because of the troll here that has like this huge bag of money or goods and they're just very very abundant and I almost see this as like the page like the page and the king sort of interacting um, so it's like the king is also passing on that knowledge emperor so I know what was this this was the magician I think yes um, I just really liked the figure here. Um, it just reminded me a lot of the Smith Waite Emperor. Um, it really does remind me a lot of Odin with the ravens and the birds over here. Um, just that very sort of structured. I mean, even the figure himself looks very like like a square. So it's you know, four is the emperor, so four corners, a square, like very structured. Um, yeah. <laughs> Some of these, a lot of this, if you do decide to try to restructure a deck, a lot of it is just off of your own intuition. So maybe it's hard to explain why a card just makes sense for you, but that's okay. Um, the Fool is still the Fool. I love this card. It's just really happy and carefree. Seven of Wands, um, I don't think I changed this one, but the reason that this is Seven of Wands to me is because we have the giant here and then the knights or whatever down here sort of, you know, kind of going after him and he's just like, really? Like he's defending himself and they're defending themselves, so it's a lot of defense, but I like this card because it makes me think, is your battle worth it? Or are you just expending your energy to something that's not really going to be successful? Two of Cups. Um, yeah. <laughs> Ace of Swords. Um, I really love the bird in this one. Um, it's kind of like an Ace of Swords. Like it's a new idea and you don't know if it's going to work out but you want to go for it anyway. So it's like this little girl, I guess like offering her clothes. Like I don't really know what's happening here, but it's just sort of like, she doesn't know if this is going to work. And then just with the air energy of the bird, um, this one just made sense for me for Ace of Swords. The moon is still the moon. I love this card. Ace of Cups. I don't think I changed this one, but I mean, it's a giant cup being poured out. <laughs> um devil is still the devil i love this one i love how he's like a thief in the night just taking all the fruits um but he's like leaving it behind so it's almost like a temptation to like follow him ace of wands um i see this big tree as the wand itself and it's sort of this new creative endeavor like she's going off into the woods she doesn't know what she's gonna find and there's this little like guy following her and there's i don't know there's like all these little monsters in the back i just love that ace of wands energy like it's just like you don't know why you're doing something you're just you're, you just have to go for it um but mostly it's because i saw the tree as the wand Judgment. I know this one did not change. I think this is a really beautiful card. Is that in focus? There we go. Tower. Again, I don't think I changed this one. I'm um, just with the large figure. Can't tell if it's like a rock or like a troll or something, but with the lightning, it's the tower. Nine of wands. Let me actually see one. Okay, so not quite nine candles, but 
Um, I liked this for Nine of Wands because it, like the Nine of Wands is when you are almost at the end of your rope. Like it's not quite Ten of Wands, but it's that sort of reflection. And so Nine of Wands is very much like you're just tired, like you're physically done. You need like that rest before you go through the final push. So I see this as where you're going for that rest, for that pause, that moment of solitude before you sort of patch up your wounds, put on the band-aids, and then go back out for that Ten of Wands. So death, um, this actually was the star card. And let me see if I can find what was death because those, so not all the cards were an even like card for card swap like these two, but sometimes it worked out that way. So for these two, this was the star and this was death. For me, this one just felt more solemn and sad. Um, and the star is not a sad card for me. Um, it's a very joyous card. So here it's like, even though there may be some sort of loss, they are, it's almost like they're sending out an offering or they're trying to like collect starlight, something that's just more of like a ritual that can bring joy. And there's more like bright stars, kind of very similar to the RWS. Oh, I actually have it right here. <laughs> Um, just very similar with all the stars over here. I saw that kind of mirrored over here. Um, and then death, like with the figure with his head down, just sort of pushing on. Like I definitely see that as like the death figure on like the white horse kind of going, pushing forward, even though the people maybe aren't ready to accept it. He's still moving on. So that was my reason for those two. Five of Cups. So this one, I think, was, was a king originally. Um, and for me, this one, it just seemed like this guy is, like, annoyed with this little girl. But she is something that um, is a positive thing like she brings happiness to his life but he's like kind of choosing to be grumpy and I kind of see that as like five of cups is like you're ignoring the cups that are still upright right because you just see the spilled cups so he's he's just focusing on like oh she's talking to me and I just like don't want to or she's like tugging on my robe and he's missing that moment of joy that moment of connection that he could be having so five of cups King of Wands. I think this was the King of Wands originally, um, but the reason I kept this as King of Wands is because it looks like, you know, he, I just love his expression. Um, and he just looks like he's like got another idea, like another wand that he's ready to go and like get or go and pursue. So he's like almost in the process, of like getting up and standing up and going off to the next great adventure. Knight of Swords, I don't remember if this was the Knight of Swords, but the reason I made it the Knight of Swords is because I just get a lot of the air energy with a big sky and the birds up here. And then the knight um, on a horse with a sword, but normally, like in the RWS, we see that Knight of Swords like very, very quick and moving so fast. But for me, the knight is still sort of figuring things out. You know, he's going out into the world and with the swords and that air energy, he's kind of like getting distracted by like a new idea. And so he like sees these birds and that sort of sparks another idea for him. I just get a lot of air energy from this card. Two of Coins, I believe this was the Page of Pentacles before, um, but I really just liked with the Two of Coins, like that weighing of like, you know, which is more, and also the two is still very new. Like the seed has just been planted, it's just a tiny little sprout, so we don't have a lot yet. 
And so, like, the bags of coins, like, they're very small. Um, he's not, you know, it's not like the um, king earlier with a huge bag of um, goodies on his back. Like, it's meager amounts, and he's almost, like, weighing the two. So that's why I went with two there. Sort of that juggling energy is what I got a lot with that. Five of Wands. <laughs> um, I don't remember what this card was before, but I went with Five of Wands because it's a very, it's a very, like, argumentative card or like someone's trying to pick a battle but it's not really that serious like it's not like the five of swords where like you're hurting people it's just it's just sticks it's just wands so it's like these little <laughs> they're like puppies to me like i know that they're supposed to be like wolves or something but see is it focusing there we go um so like he's not like these guys are not gonna hurt him but it's still not a good time <laughs> So I went with Five of Wands for that one. Six of Swords. I know this was not the Six of Swords. It was like the Five or the Seven. And I was like, what? That makes not a lot of sense. Like, it's it should be the Six. I mean, we literally have the figure in the boat going away. Off to smoother waters after that Five. And, you know, maybe this is almost like, kind of like the, what's it called, like the before tarot and the after tarot, where you see like a slightly different scene. I kind of see this as like, almost like the after tarot, where like the arguments already happened, this person is going off onto better waters, but the guy, the other person was left behind. So, ten of coins, um, just a card of great abundance and generational um, familial ties. It's just... A nice card. Nine of Cups. Um, I think this may have been a queen. Or no, I think this was the Six of Coins. Which I can see how they got that. But for me, that's more of like a... Like a giving card and I didn't really get that the queen was like giving so much so nine of cups is more like you have everything you want not thinking about others per se not thinking about your immediate family or your friends or sharing what you have like the ten of cups but the nine I mean in the smith weight it's the guy surrounded by his cups and he's like looking all smug and happy and he's like I got all my cups um, and that's kind of what I'm getting from this queen. Like, she has everything that she wants. Not to say that she's not a respected or loved queen here. Um, I just kind of get that. Four of Swords, a card of rest. I don't think that one changed. Temperance. I do think this was the Four of Cups or the Maybe this was the five. Maybe it was the five. Because I remember thinking, like, she doesn't really look sad. Um, and Temperance, it's sort of like that foot in the water, the foot on land, that balance of earth and water and pouring things out. And just also that pause. It's that first sort of glimpse of growth that has already sort of happened. Um, my favorite quote in one of my tarot books for the temperance card is um, inner growth for outer harmony. And I get that a lot with this card. Eight of swords. Um, when you are so caught up with fear that you just can't move. Justice. Okay, so this was the Emperor? No, the Magician. Hmm. Oh yes, what I made, the Emperor, used to be the Magician, this used to be the Emperor. Right? Yes, this was the Emperor. Okay. <laughs> See why it gets confusing? Um, but for this one, I really like it for Justice. Because... It looks, um, I mean, it just looks like she's a little activist, you know? Like she is standing up to the big guy for what is really right. And, you know, maybe he is the ruler and maybe she 
is the rightful heir. Like, I don't really know what's going on in the card or what um, John Bauer was thinking when he made this art. But for me, I always think um, justice, like justice will be served, but justice is not always fair. And that's kind of what I get this, this sort of toying with what is right and what is fair. Um, and I just love this like activist energy that we get from this little figure down here. Ten of Swords, um, that one did not change. Hierophant, this one did, I think. Wait, no, I don't know if this one changed. But anyway, um, the reason I chose this as the Hierophant is because I just see this really wise forest troll or figure sort of being a guardian for these two children and sort of teaching them the wisdom of the woods. And I always love a positive Hierophant card. I really like this one. Five of coins or five of pentacles. Um, I think this was a seven of something. Um, which the five and sevens, they're, you know, they can have some similarities. Drink some coffee. But for me, this one really talks about that loss of comfort. She's out in the snow, she doesn't have any shoes, and like her footsteps behind her are red, almost as if she's bleeding. Let's see, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see. Boop. There we go. So we really are seeing the pain and the discomfort in this card. So that's why I made this one five of coins. Queen of Swords, this was the nine of pentacles. But to me, um, she just screams Queen of Swords, like with the black dress, like she looks like she will cut you off and say what she needs to say. And then again with the air energy with the bird, this one just screams Queen of Swords to me. It reminds me of the Queen of Swords in Tarot de Carlotides. Queen of Wands, oh, I love this. I love all the queens. <laughs> but the Queen of Wands, this may have been Oh, maybe the Queen of Cups was something, was a different cup, and this was the Queen of Cups? I don't remember. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, but I chose this as the Queen of Wands because she just looks content. Um, and then there's a more warm color palette here. And of all the queens, this was sort of the one that it didn't, like, stand out to me as a Queen of Wands, but it just kind of fit in when I had all the other queens sort of figured out. But I, I do love this image. Aha, the magician. So this was the wheel. But I like this for the magician because of the cloaked figure, of the hands out, the staff. It's very reminiscent of the Smithwaite magician. Um, more so than... Trying to think what was the magician. I don't remember which card was the magician, but this one was just very what I like to see in that magician energy, that actual physical, the action of manifesting something. I like this a lot. The world, I don't believe this one changed. Um, just looks very content. We've got this sort of um, sort of almost like that circular energy here. But also with the two trees, it's reminiscent of our high priestess. So it's almost like that was when she was a girl and she followed her intuition and eventually got to the world. And again, with the high priestess, we're at two and then the world were further on numerologically. Numer, yeah, numerologically. <laughs> Nine of coins. Um... I don't remember what this one was, but I really like this one. Um, she's more in that garden and she's just very content. Like she's just happy, has her little troll friend. <laughs> um, just was very reminiscent of Nine of Pentacles for me. Two of Wands, I don't think this one changed. Very, very similar to the Smith Waite card. 
Eight of Cups. So this one, I want to say was a knight or even like the four of wands, something like that. But this one, I mean, his face is literally blue. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but he is literally blue. And so he's moving on from something that maybe he doesn't want to move on from it, but he knows he has to in order to find his happiness. Three of Wands. I think this one may have been the two of... No, that one was the two of Wands. Maybe this was the three of Wands. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's really good that I just try not to remember because then it really messes me up. But I see this as the three of Wands because... It's a step after the two. So then the two, it's like we're making that decision. We are seeing what's out there. And then that three is like that first step. It's that first step into the unknown. And so we see they're going over these hills by the ocean. They're looking out to see what's out there. Four of coins. He is hoarding all of his money. Six of coins. So... This one, um, I don't know if this was the Six of Coins, so I apologize if it's not, but to me, I, this screams Six of Coins because that is more about the giving and that generosity and giving, like knowing you have maybe not as much as you want, but you have more than enough and you have some to give. So this nun with the cloak, she's able to give that. I mean, a charity, you know. Alright, I'm going to have to pick it up or my camera's going to cut me off. <laughs> Knight of Coins, I don't think this one changed. Um, I did want to make sure that all of my knights were on horses. That is um, some imagery that I do find important in my cards. Um, not seeing a lot of forward movement. Very stoic. Looks like he could be holding a coin. Hermit, this one did not change. I love this card. I think it's beautiful. It's a great hermit card. Hanged one comes like this. Um, for me, I just thought it would be fun to turn it around. <laughs> it's all topsy-turvy. I don't know. I just like it. <laughs> uh, Page of Cups. Um, you're looking for that sort of... You're looking for that connection. And so it's like he's looking, he's looking, he's looking, but he's missing something that's right here. And then this is our figure from the Nine of Coins, which I think is a fun. There's definitely um, similar figures in different cards. Oh, I'm sorry. That wasn't in focus. Um, yeah, so the, they're looking and looking and looking. And they're sort of missing out on what's below. Three of Cups. Three, fen three friends wandering in the woods. Having a good time. Four of Cups. Oh, this may have been the Queen of Wands. Yeah, I think this was a queen because of the crown here, but um, I did like this for the Four of Cups because it was, it was just more calm um, and just sort of meditative, which is what I really get with the Four of Cups. It's that stability of your emotion so that you're able to take that first breath. The calm before the storm, I guess you could say. Strength, this one did not change. Love this card. Page of Swords, um, he just looks like he said something and realized real quick that it was the wrong thing to say. <laughs> so he made a mistake, as pages usually do, and with him it was with his communication. Ten of Wands. She's out. <laughs> She's done. She's tired. Exhausted. Ten of Cups. Um, for me, this is sort of a bittersweet card. Normally, I think Ten of Cups is like, oh, the family with the house on the hill and the rainbow and everything is amazing. For me, this Ten of Cups is more about finding your happiness after loss. And I think 
Um, I like to think that these are the same figures in the Queen of Cups as well. So I liked that connection between the two Cups cards in my version of this deck. Because um, again, this figure, like, it looks almost like a ghost. So she has lost someone, but she's learning how to find her happiness and she has found it. So I think the 10 is the ultimate discovery of that suit almost to like too much or an abundance. It's an abundance of happiness, even when there's loss. Three of coins. Um, for this, I, I believe it was a two of something, but for this, I liked it for the three because we do have the three figures and we don't know what these two gifts are, but I think if they all three work together, they can figure out what this key opens. Page of coins. This was the sun. I like it for the page of coins because of the um, knapsack full of goodies and that sort of movement. Oh, so this was another one that I did an even swap. So when we get to the sun, that was the page of coins. I'll actually leave that aside. Knight of wands. This was like the four of wands or something. But to me, Actually, this may not have even been a wand. It was like the four... I don't know. Um, for me, this is the night energy because, again, figure on a horse. But it's that really quick movement that I look for in the night. Like, he is passionate about this thing and he is going towards it. Nothing's going to stop him. Even if he loses the lady back here. <laughs> Ace of coins. So this was the chariot. But in the other card, I got more of that motion, that movement forward. And this, it looks like a big coin to me. Aha, so this was the page of coins and this was the sun. For me, this one is just, it's more happy and like childlike and carefree. Whereas this one is more about a page like putting in the work to get to become a knight and then a king. Um, so this was another one-for-one one swap. Empress, I don't think this one changed. Seven of Swords, this one did change, I think. I think this may have been the Five of Coins, um, which I can see because, you know, we have the, um, castle here, but to me, she's not being left out in the cold. The door is open. She is choosing to walk away. So. And again, like, I don't see this as the five of coins because at any time she could turn around and go back. And she's got the warm castle waiting for her, but she's choosing to go out into the cold. She's choosing to leave. Six of cups. I don't think this one changed. I just love that these two figures seem like they were childhood friends. They know each other and that they reconnected. Page of Wands. Um, I see this is our page, and this is like a queen sort of figure. Um, they're just really excited about whatever this key holds, and they're going to go out and they're going to discover where the thing is, where the door is, and unlock it. And they're just really willing to learn. I love that youthful energy in my in the page. So I do know that this was Temperance, which I get, <laughs> but I also just love this card as a King of Cups, just in the water, submerged. He's one with that water energy. I love it. Two of Swords. Um, I don't think this one changed, but for me, it's just like, you better make this decision and you better make it quickly because if you hesitate, it's going to get you. Three of Swords. This one also didn't change. Um, heartbreak. And how is she going to grow from this experience? Growth of the mind. It's that first sort of heartache. The thing that we weren't expecting. But you have to change your thought process in order to heal and to move forward. Wheel of Fortune. This may have been the Hierophant now that I think about it. I don't remember. Anyway. I liked the wheel because I see this large stone as the wheel itself. And right now she's on top 
and you could see this um, little figure as like on the bottom, but I don't know, I just get more of that circular energy here, and it's like if it does roll out, like when you're on top, you're soon going to be on the bottom, and what are you going to do when that happens? Seven of Cups, I don't think this one changed. Um, we've got you know, options in the clouds. Um, we've got all these choices, like where is he going to go? Um, just really similar to the Smith Weight energy for me. Six of Wands also didn't change. Victory. Four of Wands. I see this as that first celebration. Um, you know, like it looks like they're going, either just got married and they're celebrating, or it's just a happy occasion. Eight of Coins. I don't think this one changed. You're putting in that work. Five of Swords. So remember earlier the Five of Wands was the guy in the woods with the wolf pups. <laughs> this one feels a lot more um, a lot more urgent, I guess. Um, and like if these beasts get to him, he is going to get hurt. So he's hiding. King of Swords. I love this one because, again, which one is the King of Swords? Because it looks like he's the one talking. It looks like he's the one giving his wisdom to this figure here. Love it. Seven of Coins. So this one is about, you know, assessing what you've planted. Um, and maybe she didn't plant these trees, but she's sort of assessing if it's wise to take that first step into the woods. Knight of Cups. I think this was a knight, but it may have been a different knight. Or maybe it was Knight of Cups, I don't remember. Um, I just love it. It's the, literally the knight in shining armor. Um, looks very romantic. And yeah. <laughs> Lovers, this one did not change. Love this image. Queen of Coins. Um, she has the full abundance. She is surrounded by um, riches, which could be, you know, these troll beings that she's met. But, you know, she's gl literally glowing. Got a beautiful crown on a rock, which, you know, that could be a throne. And she just looks very content and very happy. Nine of Swords. Oh, this image. Heartbreak, anxiety, fear keeping you up. And lastly, Eight of Wands. You know, I know this one didn't change. This is a weird image. <laughs> I don't know what is up with the giant naked man. But, hey. <laughs> Eight of Wands, movement, stuff's going to happen fast. We get this in this card. So yeah, so that is my John Bauer Tarot. Let's see. Quick little shuffle here. Let's just pull some cards, shall we? Sun. King of Wands and Page of Coins. <laughs> How funny that these two showed up again. But yeah, so that is my John Bauer Tarot. Modified, restructured to work for me. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know down below if you have ever thought about restructuring a tarot deck. Um, if you have, what deck did you restructure? Did this inspire you to restructure one of your own? Let me know down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you again for watching and for all your support. Before you guys go, please remember, you matter, you are loved, and you can make a difference. Bye, friends.